hi everyone this video is going to be very interesting as we are going to explain basic understanding of a stable multi vibrator or simply a flasher circuit we will also draw circuit diagram and simulation in proteus professional software and finally we'll practically make a flasher circuit so get tuned and watch the video till end as there is a lot to learn and enjoy so let's start A flasher or a stable multi vibrator is also called a free running oscillator. It has no stable state and continuously switches between high and low without application of any external trigger. The commercially available LED flashers are actually a stable oscillators. They continuously turns on and off. A stable multi vibrators does not require any external triggering. It automatically interchanges its two state from low to high and high to low on a particular interval and hence generating a rectangular waveform. The very basic A stable oscillator is made with two transistors and some external passive components as shown. However, there are several ICs in the market which serves the same function with high precision and with additional advantage of reduction in cost and size. And of course, 555 IC is on the top of the list. The 555 IC is the best choice for generating A stable oscillations. With the versatile NE555 IC, we can design A stable oscillator with the addition of just three external components two resistors R1 and R2 and a capacitor C1. In A stable mode, 555 works as an oscillator circuit in which output oscillates at a particular frequency and generates pulses in a rectangular waveform. The duty cycle and frequency of an A stable oscillator with 555 IC is determined by the formula given and mainly depends on RA, RB, and C as shown in the formula. Next, we are going to simulate A stable multi vibrator in Proteus Professional Software. So let's start. Proteus Professional Software is starting up. Select new project, provide appropriate name and location and press enter. Now the workspace environment is open. Go to libraries by pressing the P icon. P stands for pick component. Write triple five, select IC triple five and press enter. Place it in the workspace. Again, go to the libraries and search for the electrolytic capacitor and ceramic capacitor you may skip exact values this time the value attributes may be set later on again go to libraries and select resistor of any value Once you pick any component from libraries, you can add multiple of the same just by clicking again and again in the workspace. Also select LED from library. Make sure to pick animated or active model otherwise it will not be simulated. Now it's time to wire up components. Go to terminal mode and select power. Power is plus 5 volt DC default voltage source. Select ground from the ground terminal mode. Start wiring is shown. Revalue all components is shown. Rotate components, place at appropriate place, readjust values and attributes as needed. Now our schematic is ready for simulation. Press the simulation play button. You can observe the LED is blinking as per the preset resistor and capacitor value. 
Now stop simulation. Place an oscilloscope to monitor pulse wave shape. Turn off all the unnecessary channels not in use. Scroll down wave shape to the center position of the channel 1 with this knob. You can see the rectangular waveform generated by a 555IC in a stable mode. Next, we are going to change values of capacitor from lower to higher value and again from higher to lower value and we will observe change in the flash frequency. I hope you enjoyed the simulation, next we are going to build the circuit practically and will share with you. Please subscribe to our channel to get more interesting tutorials, also share and like. Thanks for watching, drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe, to watch more videos like this.